Okay, guys, this is a video. Um, uh, as you can see, um, with the video I just posted, it's um, how to wipe all data on off of your iPod. And I've just because I've just been looking at like the settings and everything about the iPod, and I'm looking for oop, looking for a bunch of stuff that I don't know. And I just found another thing. I already knew about it, but I just kind of forgot I knew. Because I found that out on my old one, so. Alright, just open your settings, go to general. And then if you scroll down to, like, the auto lock, auto lock the passcode lock, the third one of those three says restrictions, and it should be off. And if you tap that, enable restrictions, and you enter code. Let me just do... It, you make you make up the code, so I'm just doing zeros, and then you can use these are the ones you can allow. Like all these, these are the five things you can disable: uh, the iPod, the Safari, YouTube, iTunes, and uh, App Store. But when I said iPod, I meant like music and videos. So if I turn all of those off. And then go home. They're gone. And I still have the Nike with iPod. See, these are all the stuff that's explicit. Um, it was hidden. See, music. I won't have any songs that are explicit on this. None of them are explicit. They're all clean. Oop, dang. They are all clean. Like if I had an explicit song, it just hit hit it from me see it says 457 songs and if I go back to settings general restrictions enter my code and then disable restrictions and go home and let me just move this back back to normal I have all my stuff and then I now have 582 songs instead of 457 so I have all my songs back. That is how you hide some icons on your iPod. This also probably works with iPhone, but yeah, I think it does. But I just did it on my iPod because I'm not sure what the iPhone is. Alright, see ya.